Hi there. Coffee Cat here to help you with a sad topic, but stick around, there's hope and help in this video. Many cats get hurt, hit by cars, or quite frankly a myriad of accidents can happen, especially to an outdoor cat. If something terrible does happen, here are some tips for providing the best care for an injured cat at home. First things first. Seek veterinary attention. Call your vet immediately if your cat is injured, even if the injury seems minor. Cats are experts at hiding pain and internal injuries may not be obvious. Internal injuries are not visible, so please make sure all is well, with your vet. Follow your vet's instructions carefully for any prescribed medications, bandage changes, or restricted activity during the healing process. Restricting a cat's movements might not be easy. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Manage wounds. For minor cuts or scrapes, gently clean the area with warm water or a diluted antiseptic solution recommended by your vet. Avoid hydrogen peroxide or alcohol which can damage tissue. Apply pressure with a clean cloth for 5 minutes to stop any bleeding. If bleeding doesn't stop, get your cat to the vet right away. Do not apply ointments, creams or home remedies without your vet's approval. Restrict movement. Keep your cat confined to a small room or crate to restrict movement and allow injuries to heal properly. Remove anything they could jump on or climb. At times like this, when a cat feels vulnerable, a cat's natural instinct is to get up height where they can feel better protected and in control. Use an Elizabethan collar to prevent your cat from licking or chewing at wounds. Okay, these things are awful. There are better ones on the market now. Softer, inflatable or cushion type arrangements. The old cone of shame is not at all comfortable, so see if you can find a better alternative, please. Provide comfort. Make sure your cat has easy access to food, water, and a litter box near the resting area during recovery. Give any pain medication exactly as prescribed to keep your cat comfortable. Provide a soft, warm bed or blankets for resting. The most important things are getting prompt veterinary care, following your vet's treatment plan closely, restricting activity, and keeping wounds clean while preventing further injury or licking. With proper home care under a vet's guidance, many cat injuries can heal successfully. Here are some tips to keep your cat calm and comfortable while it heals from an injury. As I said before, it's really important to provide a quiet, confined space. Set up a small room or large crate lined with soft bedding for your cat to recover in. Use bedding your cat knows well. This will restrict its movement and prevent further injury. Keep the space warm, quiet, and away from loud noises or other pets that could disturb your cat's rest. Place food, water, and a litter box nearby so your cat doesn't have to move far. Cats may injure themselves more trying to return to normal behavior. Minimize stress. Speak in a soft, calming voice and move slowly around your recovering cat to avoid startling it. Play soothing music or keep a pheromone diffuser in the room to promote relaxation. Limit visitors and activity around your cat's recovery space. Offer familiar comforts. Provide your cat's usual bedding, toys, and scratching surfaces to reduce anxiety in its confinement area. Cats feel more secure with some environmental enrichment from their normal routine. The key things are restricting movement, managing pain, minimizing stress, and providing a quiet, comfortable recovery space with easy access to necessities. This will allow your cat to heal properly while feeling calm and secure. Here are some signs that can indicate your injured or sick cat is getting better. Improved appetite. One of the first signs of recovery is a return of your cat's normal appetite. As they start feeling better, 
they will show more interest in food and eat larger portions. More energy and activity. A sick cat often appears lethargic and sleeps more than usual. As they heal, you'll notice your cat being more active, playful, and engaging in normal behaviors like grooming themselves again. Better mobility. If your cat was injured or dealing with pain or arthritis, they will start moving around more easily as the condition improves. You may see them jumping, climbing, and using the litter box normally again. Improved coat condition. Cats tend to neglect grooming when they feel unwell. A shiny, well-groomed coat can be a sign your cat is regaining strength and feeling better overall. More social behavior. Sick cats often hide, act withdrawn, or become more clingy. As your cat recovers, their normal social personality should return, whether that means being more affectionate or independent. Reduce symptoms. Of course, a clear indication of improvement is a reduction in the original symptoms that prompted the vet visit, such as vomiting, diarrhea, coughing, or discharge from eyes or nose. See, there's lots of hope here. The key is looking for a combination of your cat acting more like their typical healthy self in terms of energy levels, appetite, grooming, and personality. However, complete recovery can take time, so continue following your vet's guidance even after initial improvements. Thank goodness, your cat's getting better. This deserves a little celebration. Thank you for taking care of us and thank you for your love. We love you in return. Coffee Cat